Some okay, uh, today is Tuesday. It is April 4th. It is The Rundown. It is brought to you by Movement Watches, mvmtwatches.com slash rundown. Get 15% off, free shipping and returns. Um, use the code, click on the link. Do we have a code for this? No? Just click on the link. mvmtwatches.com slash rundown. Okay, so just click on the link. You get 15% off if you use the link. Free shipping, free returns. They start at $95. They look like they should be like 500 bucks. Okay. Uh, Kevin's getting his mic turned on as we speak. Back to the promo movement watches. Um, again, support the show. Those are fancy Jordans, huh? Those little gold things. You like them? Yeah, well, I don't hate them. They're well, not I'm real, though. They're not in real time. They're like re-releases. No, no. Not even re These are just like, these are Fakes? new. Brand new. Oh. Those like, are the, like, new, the new ones? Like, no. So these are fours, but this, this design is brand new. I don't know new. what like, never that wore means, to be totally honest. Like, I thought the first back one in was my one, day, two, three, four. Yeah, but they're on like 30. Oh, they only right. on four. They re-released those, but I'm saying this like black with the gold, it's not like he ever wore these ones. These are just like a new design from Jordan. Back in my day, there was one pair of Jordans there released once a year. You should be on whatever. I don't understand. So you're saying the net ones have four versions of the net ones. That's number four of the net. No, no, no. All Jordans. No. Like every, he's had four models of shoe that they do different colors and designs. But this is the Jordan 4, four. so it came out in you know, 1980. All the 4s look just like that, except With they're different, different colors, colors and Got everything it. they release. Got it. I don't like that. Um, MVMT. 4s are nice. What? The 4s are yeah, nice. The 4s are like... I had the original 4s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 4s are nice. They're nice. But the 4s came in the original were two. There's the white and then there's black, I believe, yeah. right? But I don't... What I'm saying is I prefer it just the same, one model per year. You prefer not. they just never sell the shoes again? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Why? Because, I mean, people want to wear them. They're fucking awesome shoes. So go back and they can resell the originals. I don't like They them. do that, but then you don't like that they made different colorways and, co and like designs. Correct. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. Bron Ford's bringing back Broncos. You can get a Bronco? They are? They're bringing, they, 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 they are allegedly bringing back new Broncos, yeah. Like the old kind that I have that doesn't They're going to bring work. back new ones. That look like the old ones. I don't know if they're, I don't think that. I think they're going to be some, I, I don't know. They should though. Why wouldn't they? So stupid. I think they're going to bring back I don't mind. Bronco. I don't mind bringing back like the 1970 Bronco yeah. is gonna, new, but that's not, I'm ones. saying use. You, oh, uh, I got you, all right, now I got you. Um, right, this was never released. I got you, I got you now, I uh, got you. Uh, movement watches. Buy the watch, because then movement watches, like, oh my God, these guys are great, and then all this free programming, we don't have to charge everybody for everything. So you're doing your part, because churning's my ear, hey, charge people, charge the hardcore people, no, no, and no. then cut off all the other people, make everything pay. Buy a watch. It's a win for everybody. They should be 500 bucks or 95 bucks. Click on the link, mvmtwatches.com slash rundown. First, 1,000 people who tweet. Maybe I'll retweet just to show that we're working. Um, national title game yesterday. Did you end up on Gonzaga? Yes. I had North Carolina. Uh, I'm curious on your take on this. Everyone's saying it's a terrible game. It was a terrible game. Yeah. I don't think people are disputing that. I don't, like, um, I have money on it. It was competitive. So I'm watching it. I don't like. Yeah, it's not good, but I still was very into the game. I don't know. The flow <laughs> got so fucked up in that second half when it was just whistle, whistle, whistle. I think there was. I, I can't remember. I think it was like ten whistles, ten, ten fouls in the 11, first four and a half tweet, minutes. Yeah. yeah. And more than anything, they take out the best player. Collins is the best player, probably on the court last night. He's he's a lot. He's a borderline lottery pick. He changes that game for Gonzaga, he all, and yeah. he gets that that. Call both those last two calls that were went against him were the worst calls. Like those were just basic playing in the post basketball. He also though got away with a he did, blatant but foul you can't, on one but of them. But my <laughs> problem is, and they didn't call that stuff in the first half, and then they just completely changed it in the second half. And and my problem is, I understand bad calls happen when things are moving fast, right? Like a guy's on a fast break, yep. and you just can't tell if he hit the ball or his hand. You yep. know what I mean? There's all the shit. It's the little like just bumping in the post that I like you need to allow that to happen for basketball to flow it's like when you say you could call holding on every play in the NFL right. you could call that exactly. foul every time in the exactly. post in that game I mean by by fouling players out and bl blocking the flow it was like I wasn't even watching basketball right. I, I and will, that's not the game you tuned in to see speaking of I agree with you like you I use the example the trade the trade Burke block against Louisville which was a terrible call that maybe caused Michigan title it happens. Mo things right, are going that's, that's an that, specific call. That but, flagrant one on the replay, yeah. that may be the worst call I've ever but, seen. And that's so what bad. happens is it just became 
the, the, the first three minutes of that second half, the entire scope of the game changed, and it just became this choppy whistle, whistle. And then guys start playing. Guys start playing where they're waiting for a whistle, and they start expecting a whistle, and just everything falls apart. Still doesn't. I, I agree with everything you said. Still does not explain the shooting was not horrific. Good, yeah. Yeah, well, no, I think it does explain. Oh, I think when you guys can't get, can't into get a into rhythm, rhythm it matters. Yeah. I don't and know. And then I mean, guys, so off. I think also what happens is when you have a situation like that and there's all these fouls, guys are trying to take back the game and trying to make play. Like, you know, they're not playing in rhythm. They're not playing with each other. They're trying to be like, all right, I got to make a couple shots to get my team into that rhythm. And Which actually does the opposite. That right, never works. Exactly. So the only thing I will say, I, I think we have a little recency bias. People are like, that was the worst national championship ever. I just... That UConn Butler game still haunts me. I still close my eyes every now and then. Do you remember that game when Butler scored 41 points in the national championship? Vaguely. They went three for 31 from two point shots. You can't you can't get worse <laughs> yeah. than that. So let's just I, I make say, sure we say it's the same. I think worst. as far as a close game, like if you look at the box score, you'd be like, oh, that was you know. Yeah. But it was how, way worse. How, how much blame? And obviously the referees are getting killed. To me, I, I still don't know how they missed Meeks' handing. I, I don't know. either. Like, the guy was, was standing right there. Right he there. was way out the of bounds. The guy was standing right there. And he was huge. way out of bounds for, uh, like, three count. And, and more than anything, it just, it, like I said, with the Collins thing, it's the national championship. It's like that year when Greg Oden and Joe Kim Noah both got two fouls in, like, the first three minutes. I want to see the best players compete. I want to see Collins on the floor. I want to see the best UNC guys. I want to see UNC playing in rhythm. I don't want to see what the right. bullshit I watched last night. And time. they say, like, well, no, you got to call it as you see it. It's like, no, fuck that. Right. Let me see the game I want to see. Let them play. Let them have a flow. Call it consistently. I was actually, like, and this is betting aside because I just, I mean, like, I, I got to a point where I was so angry. Like, I actually wanted to, like, punch something in my living room last night. To, to me, the, the, it was, I agree with all of it. And I had North Carolina, I had North Carolina, and I was, people thought I actually had Gonzaga because of the two things, the two calls that's. Right. The, the flagrant that's one. That's when you know it's bad when you bet on a team and you're actually being like, that other team just got screwed. The flagrant one on just Nuts. a legitimate, like, loose ball where the guy happens like. And they called, they called the foul on Joel the, Berry yeah, first. The wrong guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Which that's also a makeup, you can't make that up, been a foul either. But to, to say that was a flagrant one, uh, it's to what you said, I can accept fast game what to look at it on the monitor and be like, that's a flagrant one, and then the hand out of bounds. Um, I did win, though, so in the end, all ends well. That sucks. It should have been it? a good game. It starts well that I game. thought that was a really, and that was like one of those championship games where I really did think those were the two best teams. Yeah. And it just sucks. It wasn't like an upset situation where it was a low seed. It was supposed yeah. to be the best of the best, best product, and it was. And, Ro and Roy, I'll tip my hat. I still, I'll still maintain that I don't think Roy's the best end of game X is no coach, but fuck, man. Three titles in the last 15 years. That guy, I mean, he's he's the, you you can and probably should make the argument he's the best college coach in the last 15 years. If you got three titles, back yeah, it I, mean, up. He, yeah, I, I don't, don't even like think that. six final I, four. I understand. I, have in 15. No, he because he won the he won he won in like 99. Early. Yeah, it wasn't 2000. It wasn't 15 years. Speaking, of who else was upset with the officiating yesterday? Our boy LeBron, who to me. If you're making the Mount Rushmore of LeBron moments, quotes, or... This could be recency bias too, by the way. But maybe. It, it's up there. It though. may be. I don't know. He tops himself like every time. If yeah. you're trying to be like, <laughs> this guy real, is the biggest asshole on the planet, this may be my lead now. So everyone's freaking about the officials. And he had one tweet that's like, let the kids play. There's a joke, blah, blah, blah. What everybody was saying. 30 seconds later... Well, he said he's going to stop watching the game because the rest was standing. 30 seconds later, he's like, nope, I'm going to keep watching it because I don't want to cheat the kids. It is the most ridiculous. And the thing about it is he's dead serious. Dead serious. Like, I talked, we were talking, you guys have J.J. Watt, which you guys raised all the money, unbelievable, quickly. I don't think J.J. Watt go, like, no. is capable of that no. type no. of tweet. No, I don't think so either. Even J.J. Watt thinks yeah. LeBron's an asshole for yeah. a tweet like that. I mean, yeah. that... Even J.J. Watt doesn't think he's that important. That, he to doesn't think, want to cheat the kids. To think that you, yeah. your TV viewing yeah. habits affects the lives and emotions of the kids is, it's not, it's not even, it's delusional. Is anybody, he's a crazy person. Is anybody talking about that tweet except us? Yeah. I haven't uh, seen that no, anywhere. No, you know what? Radar. I bet they are. I bet they're like, 
Wow, LeBron cares about the kids. I don't want to cheat the kids. By the way, Dick, like we're the only people. because we're on LeBron and national title, just this just popped in my head. Remember that? Remember the UConn national title when he was like, that guy, Shabazz Napier, are so good. Yeah, they, they drafted him. He drafted him. And then bounced out. What a LeBron move. Unbelievable LeBron <laughs> tweet. Just, I, I, I had to literally, like, if, I have my just everyone knows I hit him so I get all the tweets. I literally had to do my onion check. Like, wait a minute, is this yeah, is I, this I, click hole? Yeah, doing LeBron? I know how crazy, delusional, insufferable this guy is, but this can't be real. And I think everything he does can be real. But I literally went back. I'm like, is a blue check mark? I think he really fucking said this. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. I had a glass. I just dropped it. Shat. I ran to the computer and like this. This is amazing. Amazing I'm, I'm stuff. so excited for uh, LeBron's kid to go to college because I feel like that will give wow. Dave like a new – Dave will be like – The next generation. Last, last legs like, I don't know, 46, 47, and be like, boom. The hate, the hate gets restored. I think he's getting – Worse. Yeah, he is. Like it's every day now. It's the the we need more teachers. Computer tech. It's just it's I non say, he's, I, I because he's untouchable in basically everything. He, I always try to play devil's advocate and find a way. He's a good guy now. Right. It's impossible now. I can't even. I even when I just want to fight with you, I can't. He, he's maybe the worst human who's ever lived. <laughs> like that's a yeah, that's I don't like, know about that. But yeah, no, he may <laughs> be. I, I, I don't know about that. No, some he, pretty bad humans out there. Yeah, LeBron's one of them. And by the way, how old is he? He's, he's 32. He's got, like, the way he's going, anything is possible. Yeah. Anything is possible. I told you, he's going to keep playing till he's on the same team as his son. Ugh. And then he'll retire. Um, For the kids. Also, back to the national title. I rewatched when Hank, Hank tweeted out national championship game. Yeah. Looks like it was loud, Sean. <laughs> Respect. We forget how bad that basketball game was. But I rewatched least, that. But at least we let them play. Yeah, yeah Francis we did let, let them play. play. Francis could have ref that game last night better. Lose, there was no, we swallowed our whistle on that game. That looked like, without knowing it, if you saw it, it was a Saturday Night Live clip. <laughs> like, it was that ridiculous. It looked like somebody's uh, like, let's go spoof this game. Yeah. And put these two guys Could out you there. imagine, though? Because that's, that's actually funny because you say it. That's what everyone else who's not like a hardcore stoolie sees that they're like, what the fuck is going on at Barstool? <laughs> yeah. When you take it out of all of context, you're like, what are they doing? It, it, it <laughs> looked like a Saturday Night Live clip. I mean, what else could it be? And then imagine somebody tried to explain it to you. Like, no, actually, the it's guy the on DJ yeah. karaoke <laughs> fuck his wife at karaoke and murder his kids. Uh, so they went out and settled on basketball. See, the fat guy, he couldn't breathe yeah. when the score was 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> like, if you explain that clip. Um, speaking of all time internet moments, the LeBron thing, which I thought would be the headline of yesterday, no. Frank the Tank. This clip, and Dan, I know. I can't believe you didn't do must watch. This was a must watch. Yeah. I, I was, was shocked you didn't do a must watch. I must watch it on social. Yeah. You know, uh, I thought you would have must watch yeah, this blog because that would have yeah, been like it, the it, first unanimous must watch. It was a must watch. <laughs> And I knew, I knew it. I know it's must watch when it's like the first thing is like I could call my dad. My mom was over. I watch it. She's like, what's wrong with you? I had this thing on loop for like an hour with tears coming down. Do you know what it is? It's when his voice cracks. It is competent. Not, it's, that's the whole clip right there. When he, because it's the, the anger, like this guy can't really be this mad. And then his voice cracks. You're like, oh, he's this mad. His hat. Popped off like his head too when he did it. We interviewed him on Barstool Radio. He's, he's not from this planet. This guy is he's straight from the moon. Or it's that Brandon Fraser movie. What, what was that? Blast from the Blast past. From the past. It's been like, in a bunker. He's been in a bunker yeah. for 20 years. He came out and he's like, oh, what's going on? The guy has this, he's been updating his sports encyclopedia webpage, his website, since 2001. It's got page views beat by three years he on the internet. He hasn't changed game. the front of it. It, the second I saw that, I was like, "That's a relic from the past." Like if you, but, could, it's, yeah. but it's all new. But it's, it's all, all the content. All is all new. new. The, National title recap. National title recap. This day in history. Birthdays of the celebrities. I was trying to bust his balls. I'm like, "You got a USFL link on the front." He's like, "Yeah, I do. I have a recap of every single team that's ever he's played." Got like independent he's, hockey league. He's and written shit. a preview of every NFL game. Predicted the outcome of every game for like the past thirty years. Dave. 
He predicted the outcome of the AL and NL 2017 wild card to the score. <laughs> he has like the Mets beating like the I can't even remember like seven to nothing. He, dude, he, the Mets, the, he's, it, the whole thing is, honestly, we did one hour on radio on this guy. I don't, I, even, I don't even know how we can do it on the rundown, but he, he he's Danny Boy Kane, except not it, afraid of the spotlight. Right. And, it, and the perfect combination of him being fat, being a Mets fan, and being stuck on New Jersey Transit. Also, voice, by the way, he was bumped by a New Jersey employee. Yeah. A New Jersey Transit employee dropped his phone and broke it. Just a little <laughs> icing on this shit cake. Was so mad that was opening that. day. And by the way, he thought he was coming on the radio strictly to talk about the transit system. Right. Like, the second we got him on, he went into the transit system. The name is perfect. Frank the Fleming. nickname Frank is the perfect, Tank NJ Tank. I told you, I got deep on his Flickr account. He has like 75 pages of games he went to that are just like, Blurry pictures and like concourses and he's absolutely furious that the at Shea Stadium they used to release balloons during opening huge day. Peppy. He's like, where are the balloons? They don't he, do the balloons saying, anymore. He's like, I, I, I love this I guy. love going opening day. He got there like I guess the first inning, but he missed. He's like, I like the ceremony. He must have said pageantry a hundred <laughs> times in three minutes. He's like the pageantry of opening day. The pageantry, they got rid of the balloons. What happened to the balloons? I want the balloons back. It's like <laughs> the best part about this guy is that he would if it weren't for this one small clip, he would have just kept on living Existing. his life doing the exact he's, no, same thing. You know thing. what? He's going to continue doing that, too, though. Yeah, now like he might get a I little mean, internet fame. I no, mean, he's he going to be hired. It. He's yeah, going to be I working at Barcelona Sports. Dave's going to hire him. He's a grinder. Him. But I think he's going to just he's keep doing this. <laughs> he's he's a, a, very much a grinder. He, imagine he's the last never one sleeps. of a kind. Imagine if we had something. I don't know how we do it. I have to, tech to talk to our tech people. But, like, if Barstool from, like, 10 p.m. to 12 just turned to that website. And it's just like... Frank's world. Yeah, just, welcome yeah. to Frank's world. Do you world. know how yeah. crazy it is to update Run. that blog for 16 straight years? It's not making a dime, not doing, not getting anything has, out of it. Updating all of that every single day for 16 he years. Just, Kevin just showed me right before we sat down, there's a video of him oh, God. saying the U.S. men's soccer team would not make the World Cup, and he was wrong, so he ate a piece of paper. A year ago, I made a prediction that the United States soccer team would not qualify for the World Cup in Brazil. Well, I guess I have to do this now. It's in the YouTube. That's integrity, though. <laughs> like, there's, <laughs> there's, there's no 50, one's there's watching it. Views, it but doesn't he's matter. Gonna be, like, he, he knew he had to do it for himself. Right. And it wasn't to be funny. He's no. like, I was wrong. He just crumpled the paper, ate it, washed it down. He's like, let's move on. I told you his message board is just all of his posts being like, is anyone out there? He, he, the, <laughs> but yet he did the ice bucket challenge. He's like, thanks for the, all the people on the message board who nominated. Somebody sent us the code from his website. And it literally is like the last time the front, the layout has been altered was 2001. Pre, dude, August, pre 9 11, this guy amazing. was blogging. The Twin Towers that's were still incredible. up and Frank was out there blogging away. The he also predicted the Mets were going to win the World Series in 2006, 2007, 2008, <laughs> and 2009. And then 2010 came around, 57 and 105. He also <laughs> fell off a cliff with the Mets. He also done with the team. figured out they were in a rebuild. <laughs> he also predicted that they'd win this year. That was, yeah. he, that was the most no brain. Like, yeah. Frank, who do you think is going to win the World Series? New York the, Mets. The Mets. <laughs> like, like, Weird Him in an electric chair with Kevin would be so oh, good. We're going to go to a game. We're going to eat some dogs. He's got gonna weird. He's a Devils, Mets, Dolphins, and Nets. Nets. And Nets. Brooklyn Nets because he's a Jersey guy. Yeah, it's a little weird. Um, Frank the Tank. A little weird. We are going to hear a lot Unicorn. more from this guy. Yeah. Uh, Roma retired. I, I was stunned by this news. I thought. Retired. What do you mean? You think he'll be back? Yeah. You do? Yeah. So, the minute Dak gets hurt, he's back. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go to a different team. I think that the uh, the Cowboys kind of fucked him a little. They said they were going to, like, release him or trade right. him, and they just – they were like, no, you know uh, – they said they were going to release him. They didn't release him because they want to trade him. I don't think anyone wants to trade for him because of his contract and, like, what, what they probably would have okay. given up. Now he can retire, and I, I think – I don't know how NFL contracts work, but if he wants to come back for any team, I think he can. Right? That can't be. That would be or the do they have, is he still under contract? of all time, right? Yeah, I mean, that would have been a loophole that Brett Favre should have figured out. Yeah. All right. That Either way, he's going to – yeah. if I, you I, had to take the over-under over under amount of snaps for, Rome, for Tony Romo in the NFL, uh, 0. .5, what would you take? For I guess over the, based on what you just said. Yeah. I thought he was released, so that obviously – I mean, if changed. Dak gets hurt, he's back. I thought he was released, so that's why I thought – No, I, I thought don't he think could so go he, wherever he wanted. So it has to be the Cowboys, though, you think? 
I think so, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he wants to, to play for another team. I, th- I feel like... I think he would have... I think he would have won... I think, if I followed it all correctly, I don't think the Broncos had much interest, which is kind of crazy, because the Broncos would have been a good pick because they have a defense. Right, yeah. And I don't know what happened with the Texans. Maybe Jerry was like, I don't want you going to the Texans because, you know, in-stage shit. Yeah. So that, that plays a huge factor. I thought he could kind of do whatever... I thought he was released, but if he wasn't, that changes a little bit. I... I I was. Stunned. I believe that what I read was he retires because the Cowboys planned to release him. No, because what, what, why wouldn't he go? Because I, I don't think he wants to start over. Check. I don't think he wants to play for one of these teams. We'll, fact check. Well, we'll move on to the next one. An Oklahoma cheerleader was getting a former cheerleader getting pimped out by a former player. Um, they also date. That's the craziest part to me. And they Pimp also your have own like girlfriend. tweets about like how they love each other and making money. I mean, I'm on the record a bazillion billion trillion percent prostitution should be legal it's the world's oldest profession whatever you want to do with your body on your side time fine with me and more importantly this seems like the most american thing of all time i think it goes it's the most romantic thing of all time it goes double if it's your boyfriend that's pimping you out it's like you're not breaking any rules they're making money together and they're happy the only thing i didn't do her thing the only thing i didn't understand is 200 dollars. that's a fucking steal yeah she was hot she's hotter than 200 the the pictures that they put in the back page were not her correct no but she's still hot they were no no that was the pictures of jess green that's the he's like a guess that ass legend that's i'm the sucker yeah that (laughs) yeah you would have been like sign it up (laughs) forget forget prostitution that should be prison Yes. When you the put back the page misleading, ads. like, oh, and if you're an Oklahoma cheerleader. When was he released? He, he was released. Yeah. You're an Oklahoma no, but cheerleader. They, but that's you like use today. Your own he gross. That's, that, they didn't release him before today. Uh, yeah. Right. So they didn't, they weren't like, go on your merry way and go find a team. It was I, like, he will go somewhere. I so now he can yeah. technically, I would, now he can seems like go the in the booth and then sign with anyone else. Seems like the most straightforward plan if that's what he's doing. Why they, would they let them? I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Oklahoma cheerleader, use your own photos. She's not ugly. She was no, a cheerleader. She could definitely. Right. Like, that, that, I, I that guess, is I guess the point, though, let's say, let's say you, you, you pay 200 bucks and she shows up and it's not the same pictures, you're still going to do it. She's still worth 200, by the way. Once you're there. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. So it's like, oh, right, in the room. I duped you, but let's just do this anyway. And, and have a little fucking dignity, this pimp, by the way. There's not, like, that. those pictures were so obvious, not her. Like yeah. anybody who's like, oh, this girl's yeah, perfect. Yeah, at least make it look a little like her. Use the real, well, maybe they don't want to put the face out there, but use somebody she's who's a, like. She's a college football cheerleader. She's hot enough. Yeah. Right, but maybe they didn't want her. But actual if face, you yeah. use somebody as hot as those back page, it's not them. And I do think that should be like prison. Mm-hmm. More so than the actual I got crime. duped. Yeah. Dude, yeah, she, yeah. She, she's like a GTA legend. I knew that girl right away. Jess Green. Yeah, I know yeah. she. I know what her fucking boyfriend looks like. Um, yeah, I was like, damn, that's a really fucking good That's deal. a hot back I'm page hooker. 200 bucks. <laughs> um, all right, that's the run now. We got anything, uh, post show? Going to Augusta? Going to Augusta, leaving Vacation, a boys. Uh, you going to show them how to vacation? You think there's clubs in Augusta? No. No. I no, I've heard it's actually it. not the yeah. greatest. It's like super trip. white trash, yeah. Uh, I don't, is it? I've, I've heard believe- it's a shithole besides. Yeah. I, no, I, I, I've heard it's not like the most active thing. We got the Natty Shack, so that'll be fun, I think. A good setup. Um, I had to postpone my hair transplant. It's supposed to be Monday. Wow. They told me uh, four days can't drink, but I'm going to the Natty Shack because Ooh. your head will just bleed everywhere. Mm. <laughs> so That's going to be tough for you. Uh, by the way, we're on a little bit of a run now, right? Cubs, Patriots, Carolina. Carolina. Who's going to be next? We got Bruins, Blackhawks, right? Yeah. Celtics. Caps. Celtics, Mets. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a nice little run. Also, my last day with the uh, Bud Light Bar. You guys will continue, but I guess Thursday wraps it up. The Bud Light Busters, which was a success. Thanks for the trip to Vegas. So, Bud Light. Without Bud Light, here. we never had the DP40 crew. Friends for life. Exactly. Would have been my life has been changed. <laughs> uh, you have a wolf pack now. So now we do have a wolf pack. That so, you pay. Uh, feel free to up that bud for like a wolf pack and you buy. Figures, yeah. And then yeah. we'll really it's turn what? this thing up. Most people don't buy their wolf packs. Most people, like a wolf pack, like, it's not like the wolves get together, like, I'll pay for your time if you hang out with me, wolf. It's like, you know, a natural thing. Whereas Ooh. you're like, hey, I'm going to buy you that should, wolf. You should do back page, like, looking for friends and just have <laughs> me be Bradley I, Cooper pictures. Maybe I will. Oh. Make sure you uh, check out Better Call Saul. Season 3 is premiering Monday, April 10th, only on AMC. 
This is one of the greatest stories ever told. I've been talking about it. I'm so excited that we're finally going to figure out how Saul Goodman comes about, how Gus Fring meets Mike Ehrmantraut, how Hector Salamanca fits in the whole mix. It's all your favorite characters and your favorite storylines from Breaking Bad, except now we get to figure out where it all came from, the genesis of it all. So you can check it out Monday, April 10th, 10 p.m., only on AMC. Better call Saul. Uh, Dave, I actually had one last question. So college basketball's over. Mm-hmm. You sticking with it? You sticking with live bullets baseball? Can I tell you? you? I mean, we did it yesterday. It's fucking, it's the worst. By the way, Coley, thanks for that stat on the fucking Mariners being the second best opening day team. They got shut out 3 nothing. So Dallas, he, he can't can't do that, Dude, Coley. he wasn't, he wasn't going to Dallas Kershaw, uh, I, I, uh, uh, Kershaw, whatever his name was, Keiko. fucking Frank the Tank's number two star of the day. <laughs> I said, I said to him, he, was. he goes to me, should I bet the Mets? I, I said, no, Syndergaard's on the bump. And I go, the Mets statistically have the best uh, opening day record of all time for whatever that's worth. He goes, it's worth $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was yeah. the answer. See, we're in it now. It we're was, in it. Oh, you'll uh, appreciate this sign maturity that didn't work for me. So I was 2-0, and and I had five grand on Kershaw, and it was 18600 to win five hundred five grand because it was my – and I had <laughs> I had it in the thing, and I took it off. You said no? Yeah, but they ended up winning like 14 But still, that's like a long back. run you're going to lose. I know. I, I was so proud that of myself. That is mature of you. Yeah, thank you. But my, what I would have done is I would have been like, well, how many – like, oh, Kershaw's this? All right, let's parlay him with like six other I thought sure about things. It. I, I thought about it. I thought about it. I had idiots. it in there. They fell behind one nothing in the amount of years that would take it on my life. Oh, my, my God. Life. You would have been ranting and raving. <laughs> it would have been unbelievable. But yeah, I, I was proud of myself for taking it. I took, uh, <laughs> to, am I going? There was one day game, and I just flipped a coin and took the Tigers. So, yeah. That was that, oh, that I got fucked canceled. it up. That got canceled. Again today? No, no, no. You're saying today you took them. No, nope. I, I messed up. I meant to, and I was on the air, and I put it in the first five inning line, and then I forgot to do it. So now I bet on the White Sox. I actually like that bet, Quintana. Yeah, I like the I like the Tigers minus one thirty. I missed it. The game's going, so right. hopefully White Sox win. Oh, five oh, on Tigers. Live <laughs> update. Fuck. Quintana. Fuck.